a woman's right to choose is a human right. Why are we so quiet about challenging the US when they threaten human rights? Some people have said in here, oh, we can't be, why, why, how dare we talk about the US? Well, we talk about everybody else. Is the US a functioning democracy? Well, let's have a look at it. It costs two billion to become president. They're 25% of the total prisoners in the world. They spend over 800 billion a year on arms, which is uh, more than most of the world put together. They've been at war for 250 years since their state was formed 275 years ago. But they can't afford universal health care. They can't afford the 1.7 trillion debt forgiveness for students. They can't afford a program for the, one pint, for the 17 million children that go to bed hungry. Is this a functioning democracy? What's your idea of a democracy? Bernie Sanders wasn't even allowed to win the nomination for the Democrats. The Americans couldn't spell democracy. It just so happens that we actually have a foreign affairs department in the European Union. And we actually question how everybody else runs their affairs. We're never done talking about China. We talk about Syria, Iraq. We talk about Venezuela, Nicaragua. We talk about everybody. I mean, what, what's your idea? I mean, this idea, I mean, what is democracy anyway? What is it? Is, is it having a vote every four, four or five years? No, it's not. It's, having, it's your people having a say in the society they live in. And most of the American people have no say in the society they're living in. Their country is run by oligarchs. They're run by big business. Oil, coal, big pharma and the arms industry run the place. They elect the president and it, it costs them two billion to get into the place. And, and, he, and he serves them when he does. They haven't got democracy.